My name is Simon Horton, I'm from PMY Technologies. We're the NVIDIA adding card partner for the Quadro graphics cards. Uh, it's three years since we brought out our last uh, Fermi-based architecture, so the, the performance is, uh, is quite dramatic. Um, we're approximately three times the performance uh, compared to our previous generation, um, and that's right across the range. Adding uh, a Tesla aside of a Quadro to, um, to basically add extra horsepower uh, in the rendering process. Uh, this can speed up the render time up to 18 times, uh, depending on the application that we're using it with. Uh, these tend to be used by very high-end uh, animation studios, uh, video suites, um, virtually everything you see in the broadcast uh, on your TVs, uh, whether it be from match of the day to the F1 or, or whatever it might be. Um, so we're, we're involved in many, many sectors. So when you see some of the latest films, maybe something like uh, Prometheus or, uh, or Life of Pi, um, or, or Casino Royale or any of these, uh, these modern films. Uh, these are actually all rendered. Um, a lot of the scenes might not appear to have been uh, CG generated. Um, so this is the power of some of the new, the new Quadro cards we've got. Um, again, we work with the vast majority of the, 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 um, the film animators out there. Uh, it's a very big market for ourselves. Um, also, when you watch people like, um, like the Olympics, um, so that's provided by our SDI solution, which is a digital video pipeline. Um, so when you're seeing uh, people reach the end of the pool, um, it comes up one, two, and three. That's done in real time, uh, so there's no human interaction there. Um, so that is literally a digital feed straight from the, the cameras, straight into the cards. Uh, we aim for one frame uh, delay only, uh, and then rebroadcast out straight to the dish. Um, so the, this is the power of the new, the new K5000 SDI solutions. Uh, it's quite an incredible amount of uh, processing power. Applications you might see will be from people like Avid. Um, maybe when you're watching, uh, watching the BBC, you might see um, things like uh, Match of the Day. Uh, you'll now notice that the, um, the intro credits are uh, for the, before the matches and the stats are effectively are in 3D and they, they, they appear to come out the screen. Um, those are, again, all generated on, uh, on Quadro uh, graphics. Um, most of the Doctor Who uh, sort of production is, is done on Quadros as well. Um, virtually all the F1. Uh, is, is, is looked after via, um, via Quadro as well. One of the new features is the new DisplayPort, uh, DisplayPort 1.2. Um, there's enough bandwidth on the new DisplayPorts to push um, dual monitor uh, outputs from one single uh, connector. Uh, so on the new Quadro series, uh, on the Design FX series, uh, we can push four outputs from just two ports. The other main features on the uh, Quadro cards is the optimised drivers for Enterprise. Uh, this adds stability uh, and is a common universal driver for all our professional products, including Quadro, MVS and Tesla, uh, for all uh, operating systems. One of the key features of the, um, of the new cards is basically the amount of CUDA cores uh, that we're able to access. Um, so a lot of the, the heavy applications, uh, maybe Adobe CS6, uh, for example, or Maya or 3DS Max, um, access all these uh, hundreds or thousands of CUDA cores. Uh, for doing rendering, um, so it allows us to do rendering quicker and add more detail, uh, more layers into the, um, into the, the finished content. Um, we can increase that even further by adding a, a K20 Tesla to a workflow. Um, so in a typical Maximus configuration, maybe a K5000 and a, a K20 Tesla, uh, we can have up to 4000 CUDA cores at our disposal. Um, that's, that's a huge amount. Uh, a similar setup uh, on the Fermi uh, would probably have topped out about a thousand cores. Uh, so we're nearly four times the performance of a, a previous generation Maximus configuration. Essentially what that allows us to do is, um, is fetch the, the final compositing together quicker. Um, so hopefully then we'll be able to have a, a much more productive workflow. The key next dates will be um, NAB, uh, which is in April. Uh, so there'll be a, quite a, a lot of announcements there with new software uh, being announced from the vast majority of our ISV partners. Um, there will be some further additions to the Quadro family later in the year. Um, details are yet to be confirmed. Um, there is quite a lot of exciting new technology still in the pipeline. 